Well, hello. In today's video, in this particular video, we're going to address one very simple concept that's extremely important when you're talking about leading teams in a rapidly changing environment. It's true that when an, envir an environment is stressful and changing all the time, uh, it can lead people to react in different ways. It deals with an item called the transactional analysis, and I use one that I uh, got from my uh, resource associates uh, uh, network, uh, and my clients have found a lot of value in it. Here's what it really deals with. As our brain develops when we're much younger and as we mature, there's three things that are kind of rooted in our brain, and the transactional analysis calls it a parent mentality, an adult mentality, and a child mentality. And it's very interesting that when you're talking about a parent, if you think about things that a parent might say, do this, do that, don't do this, because I said so perhaps in some cases, uh, that would be more of a, a parent aspect of it. A child would typically, why do I have to do this? Uh, I don't want to do this. Um, you know, those kinds of things, a certain amount of resistance. An adult deals with facts. Adult deals in a very uh, positive way with uh, another person. And it's interesting when you're talking about the stresses of a rapidly changing environments, we can very easily go to either parent or child in our reaction depending on how uh, our leader or manager is, is working with us. And one of the things that you want to uh, realize is that as a leader, you have to keep people at an adult level. And so it's very interesting when you talk about if somebody goes to a parent level and you see the evidence of that and it's interesting that wars happen when two nations both go to the parent level um, but if you see somebody going to an, uh, an adult or a, a parent level how do you bring them back to an adult level in an effective way if you see somebody because of the circumstance shrinking back to a child response how do you bring that back to an adult level. It's a key aspect of leading teams in a rapidly changing environment. And the more rapid, the more stressful, the more that can be evident. So it's very interesting to realize that. I remember one client that I had, uh, we actually broke into this because he uh, uh, talked about how in meetings, some of the nonverbal communications he saw in people. And one of the things we coached around was how do you bring that person back to an adult level if they were standing there and demonstrating parent behavior over the meeting. So it's a key aspect when you talk about leading teams in this rapidly changing environment that uh, people have to be aware of in order to lead effectively. And uh, so look this week uh, in your organization, in your teams, and what do you see? What do you see in the nonverbal communication? What do you see and hear in the verbal communication? And what, that might, what might that suggest to you? So I leave that for you to take a look at this week. Why does it matter? Every person you lead has a why it matters. Every person you report to has a why it matters. The challenge is that whenever in us individuals, whenever this why it matter begins to feel threatened, a lot of times dysfunctional behaviors can arise. When you find your why it matters, I'm here to tell you the world needs that. 